Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another set of vlog video and I'm on the corner of a strong fleet and Manitoba Street and from here I'll just keep walking and uh, at this point I don't have any fixed destination and I'm not sure even where I'm going to end up but you know that's the purpose of the journey uh, just to enjoy the journey not the destination so we are here around uh, exhibition place and uh, looks like there's a nice park here but uh, you cannot actually really sit because of the snow and ice I'm going to try to cross the street here. So the ice is melting on the street, you can see. Uh, today the temperature is at zero. So it's not cold and it's not even windy. So it's a very nice weather to walk. And on my left you can see the exhibition place gate so this is a nice area to walk and we have right in front the lake which offers very nice view so this is going to be a lecture if I turn and I'm going to see what street you know it leads me to so if this is your first time here or if you're a repeat visitor thank you for your support on this channel I'm always offering new and different type of videos. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in what videos, there will be descriptions in the there will be links in the description box below. So here we are at the corner of Princess and Canada Boulevard, and let's take a good look at the. Okay, from here. So this road actually offers a very nice view. And I remember I was here before at one point to take a bus or change a bus and we have a wind power generator right ahead of us and we have here the exhibition place So let's keep walking and see where this road leads to. And you can see that there's the entrance uh, or, or one of the entrances right here. And there's a st stadium right in front and then some you know games are playing there but at this point I believe nothing is playing due to the COVID And you can see the Hotel X right here. Looks like this is the back entrance. This, this is a comparatively uh, newer hotel. They just built it. And let's take a look 
on top and you'll see that the name of the hotel is Hotel X Toronto and it has a very nice view of the lake so this is uh, the corner of Princess Boulevard and Newfoundland Street And I can see there's some stores on the ground level of the hotel. I can see even a Starbucks. The wind is going up a little bit, but you shouldn't hear that much wind because of the wind protection I have but still probably you'll be able to hear some wind and we have another entrance to the exhibition place right here and these entrances actually they look very old and you can tell by looking at the designing and the style of the building So I have to adjust my camera a little bit. The name of the stadium is BMO Field. And there's some sort of regional games played here. So walk around the stadium and see where does it lead to. I can feel even the wind got slightly stronger right now. It could be because of the open space right here. And the lake is right behind it. You can probably see a bit here and there. And you can see that, you know, the snow is melting. So we're close to Ontario Place and you can see a far just across the field or across the parking lot I'd say. So this is the corner of Nonavut Road and Princess Boulevard. And let me just show you some interesting road signs right here. So from here, Fort York, Binfield Center, five minutes, Ontario Place, seven minutes, and then we have Liberty Village, three minutes, and Exhibition Loop, and let's take a look on the other side, BMO Field, where we are at right now, three minutes, Ontario Place is seven minutes, so... And it looks like this road actually leads to nowhere. So let's just keep moving here.
and I have a feeling that I can get very close to the stadium so I'll walk up to that point Gardiner Expressway on the right, you can see a bit. So everything is closed, the gates are closed. I, I hear something at the stadium. We can have a look if someone's practicing or something, but let's just walk around here a little bit. And then, let me see. I can show you the front part or the other part. So if you come here during a game, this place is very crowded and all the empty parking lots you're seeing, these are going to be full if there is a game. And it looks like they have a very good parking space. And you can see the CN Tower. That's where we came from, that part. And also you can see the Hotel X. some skyscrapers so here gate number two and this is leading to gate one six and TTC and go station or streetcar I'm not sure why but I'm getting food smell so most likely there's something open here And looks like this is a restaurant and I'm not sure if they're gonna open. No actually they're closed. But for sure I'm getting some food smell. So I don't know who's cooking or where it's coming from. It could be it's coming from some place nearby. But the strong the smell is rather strong. So let's look a little bit up. And we'll walk around. I can see the sign from my condo there's a TV on the other side and then we have here the side
Toronto FC Wall of Honor I guess this is the name of the league if I'm not mistaken and we have another gate right here and we can actually have a glimpse of the seating arrangements inside here you can see some of the seats they look actually pretty comfortable for a stadium and I can hear people inside so I have a feeling that you know some people are practicing and then here you can see that this started in 2007 the construction of the soccer stadium actually I'm sorry it was completed in 2007 and the project was made possible by the government of Ontario and the city of Toronto and from here let's have another glimpse of CN Tower and partial view of downtown Toronto and then you can also see a nice view of the stadium and then let's take a look up so it actually is giving a nice unique view from this angle so let's move on so we are at gate one okay so this looks like this is what i was hearing before so must be there's a game or practice not game i would say practice going on and this looks like the front entrance or the ticket counter so let's take a look Almost melting here. There has to be some sort of practice inside. I have 
overlook from here. Overlook from here. Thank you. Passion for this club is real, man. Yeah. I guess they're just practicing, right? There is just a practice. But the season starts in a couple of months. Do you know what is in a, in a couple of months? Yeah, they started in April, but these guys are they're they're flying to Florida to play because the league will oh. let players travel across the border. Oh. Well, can you visit when it st starts in two months? Um, they're not playing here though. They're going to be playing in the states. Oh, okay. And so there's there, no game here. There's no games here this year. No, unfortunately not. Oh, okay. Which that's why we're here today. Cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah. No worries. So what I got is that there is going to be a league starting in uh, two weeks, but there is no game in Toronto, so they're going to, I, I believe he said Florida, and they're just here to support their team. So it looks like those guys are hardcore sports fans. And here, another glimpse of downtown Toronto. And the fans cheering their supporters. So, let's walk this way. So unexpectedly I met the practice players and some of the fans. So that's something about life. You don't know when or where you're gonna walk into something you never plan or you never know. So I think there's going to be a good view of the stadium, so I'll just go a little bit ahead and try to show the view until you place ahead of us and you can see that the small plane going somewhere. So you have here get five. So let's take a look here from this place so you can see a very good view of the stadium. With the flags. I'm going to take the street a little bit and see where does it go or if it's a dead end, not sure. Queen Elizabeth building and you can see we are getting close to the wind machine. Or wind turbine. And there's a clock. Looks like it has bells too, but I'm not sure if it's operational. But it shows 105 and actually 108, and right now it is 108, so it looks like it's working. So right now the wind died down, it's not windy, very little wind. So this one looks like a theater, you can see the name Queen Elizabeth Theater. But exactly not sure what they play here, or what kind of theater it is. 
and here this road looks like leading to a park And I can see lots of Canadian geese in the park. They actually can be very noisy. So I'm going to cross the road and see if I can go inside the park. I'll just wait for this car and vans to help us. Okay, so we have an opportunity. Let's cross the street. And We have some sort of government building, not sure exactly. And let's uh, take this street to the park. And there's something else there, there. Not sure what is that, but you know, we'll find out. And you can see the lake from here. It's a nice view. Uh, the sun is shining blistering water and you can see that you know there's lots of ice in here so I have to walk on these and you can see the Canadian geese there you know taking a break or trying to eat something from the grass and actually there is a lots of them so it looks like this is their you know resting place or possibly this is where they live at night So I'm going to walk this way and it looks like this is taking closer to the lake and we are going to cut through the groups of geese you can see that you know they're busy eating they can be very loud and I heard sometimes they even attack if they feel threatened Although it never happened to me. And this is the bell I was telling you before. It could be operational. And we have another view of the stadium. So it's a different view. Give you a hint. <laughs> I can see a motor running and the noise, but not sure what exactly it is. So surprisingly enough, I haven't been here ever before, although I live very nearby. So that's one benefit of uh, walk video, that you know, I've been going to places where I have never been, even although they're just like in the steps from my home. And we have a good view of the wind turbine or wind machine, not sure the exact term. And then we have something else here, aqua doll. Aqua Dolls Rest of Venue. Not sure what is this, but let's just continue and we'll go close to the water. So, here you gotta be a little careful. There's lots of water from the 
स्नो मेल थी एंड देर इज एन आर्ट वर्क हियर एंड एक्चुअली दिस इज ए वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस राइट हियर एंड under our nose in downtown Toronto i have not been here before and actually this is this looks like a restaurant and i'm surprised that i didn't know this restaurant before so they have very nice sitting space by the lake you know overlooking the water so definitely in summer if there's no covid probably you know you can have something to eat and the wind mill is right in front and i can see people are sitting on the on the bench and let's walk this way a little bit so you can have a view of the highway and the lake at the same time and actually there is an overpass which you can take to go to the other side and the name of the wind machine is called wind share and then another glimpse of the restaurant which i believe i'm not sure even but i have finished the restaurant and uh BMO stadium and the CN tower and here you can see there are benches you can just you know have a seat uh so i'm not going to walk this way because it looks like it doesn't go anywhere but definitely this side is really offering very nice view so what i can do let's uh, go over the overpass and we can take a look at the highway it's going to give you a very nice view because of the elevation so let's see where it takes okay so here we have a name Okay, Canadian International Air Show. I'm not sure if you can see this because of the dark. And I couldn't get the name of this park if it has a name. So I'm not sure about that. So let's take the stairs and we'll take the overpass. So you can tell that this is old, and we have a good view of the highway from here, so which you can see. And let's take a look at this side. This side has different view. Feel the breeze, the overpass, or the bridge is a little bit shaking when someone is walking. So I'm going to just stay on this corner and see if I can get some better views.
So here is another walking space and you can see a glimpse of the other side. The lake view is really nice. The thing about the, this lake is, you know, it doesn't look like a lake. It looks like an ocean. So, you know, if you tell someone or if you show someone pictures or video that this is a lake, people would have a hard time understanding that this is like, you know, so big and huge. It looks like an ocean. And I see some people are walking down here. So what I can do, I can just take the stairs. Here, this is another side. So, we have a look here. And I'm going to just take this way back. So you can see the Hotel X, which we passed by. And this is a very popular bike path and walk path. Well, it is a bit more complicated. So we are passing by Ontario Place. So in the summer, this place is really crowded, but I don't see many people today. Although the weather is nice, it's not that cold today, but I have a feeling people thought it would be cold outside. The skyline of Toronto downtown in the background, very nice view. And we have an IMAX theater right here and the world's first IMAX theater. Actually, Canada is the country invented IMAX and it's not popular across the globe. Remembrance Drive right in front. Theater. Let's look at the sign right here. And 
another view of what we just passed from this side. The stadium again. So far, I but it didn't feel like that I was walking that far. And we have a nice view of the stadium from here. So let's take a quick look. And on this side we have the Budweiser stage. So New Brunswick Drive and Remembrance Drive. You can see more of Toronto downtown and the CN Tower.
Tranquilo. Front part of Toronto X Hotel. Corner of Ontario Place Boulevard and Lesher Boulevard. So this is where I'm going to end my video. We are close to the exhibition place again. And I'll do some video of this area again on the time. And before I finish, let's take a look around again. Hotel X, which is at 111 Princess Boulevard. Thank you for watching. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.